everyone, it's Sarah and the weather has been getting so hot recently in Vancouver so um, and just the sun was just becoming so much stronger on my skin and it just felt like it was seeping through my skin so I decided to make a video on sunscreen it's so long overdue though because I wanted to do this video for about two years now I think like every summer I was planning on making a video about sunscreen something that could be more informational to you guys and helpful and just help you understand why you should put sunscreen on on a daily basis rather than just when you're going out to the beach or something like that so let's get right into it now I want to mention why you should put on sunscreen on a daily basis so why would you put it on when it's the winter or when it's cloudy or when you're receiving indirect sunlight just like me right now like from a window or something like that why do you still need sunscreen and I was really curious about this for a really long time because I don't know like I've been through a lot of sunscreens that just didn't work with my face I guess and it kind of stopped me from putting sunscreen on every single day and that's actually because um, I have three key points for you number one it prevents skin cancer so this can develop over many many years 10 20 20 years of your life maybe later you will realize that it could lead to skin cancer and to prevent that it's a good way to um, put on sunscreen every day and number two is because it lowers your skin pigmentation so if you feel like you're getting freckles or if you're kind of I don't know if your spots are getting darker on your skin that could be a result of the ultraviolet rays and number three it reduces the um, rate of your skin aging so it reduces premature wrinkles I guess in a way and yeah I'll explain about this a little more in the next part which is ultraviolet rays now to explain what ultraviolet rays exist in our system today there's UVA, UVB and UVC now UVC we don't really have to worry about because it reaches the stratosphere I believe in the atmosphere and it doesn't have direct contact with our skin specifically so we don't have to worry about that because it has a short wavelength but UVA and UVB are the problem now first to talk about UVA it really seeps deeper into the skin and it promotes skin aging a lot faster than it should on a normal rate and that's what we should be worried about and then UVB is what's responsible for things like skin cancer and sunburns because it reaches that ray reaches the skin surface called the epidermis now to talk more specifically about sunscreen in general what does SPF mean and what does PA mean and what do the numbers mean? I ended up making a blog post about this through research for my communications class last semester because I was just really fascinated by how efficient sunscreen is for your face anyways but um, what SPF represents is it's the sun protection factor of UVB rays and then the higher the number afterwards the higher it protects your skin from the UVB rays and then PA stands for protection grade of UVA rays and then the more pluses it has after this these letters the more protection it has against UVA rays so I just I don't know I just thought that was really interesting and I hope that this will help you next time when you pick out a sunscreen for yourself. So there's actually two different types of sunscreen. There's physical and chemical sunscreens. So first to talk about physical sunscreens, they contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And what it does is it basically reflects the UV rays away from your skin, starting from that layer of sunscreen. And then chemical, fil um, chemical sunscreen on the other hand, they contain chemical filters that absorb into your skin and then let the UVAs, UV rays um, absorb into your skin and then it converts it into heat and then lets it back out. So I personally like physical sunscreen. I guess it's just a preference because I have very sensitive skin and I believe that physical sunscreen is a lot better for sensitive skin in a sense because the sunscreen doesn't directly absorb into your skin and really do its work inside of your skin but rather it does it on that outer layer but I know that some chemical sunscreens you should be careful of them because they may contain chemicals that cause irritation or like redness or I don't know allergies and things like that and just to be careful I like using physical sunscreens 
And another thing about physical sunscreens is I've tried like chemical and physical sunscreens throughout the years and I even tried like this really organic sunscreen when I was really into organic products but um, it was really hard to apply onto my skin because um, it left a white cast and it would just not work well with my makeup on top and everything afterwards but recently they've come up with new technology where they make something called nanoparticles so they make titanium dioxide and zinc oxide into nanoparticles so very small particles so it can apply a lot more easily into your skin for personal experience one that I have been using is something called Y and Mira Heal Aqua Sunblock and it's says it's a fresh dewy sunscreen without a white cast and I really agree with this because it applies on just like any other cream or lotion and it also has a very high SPF and PA so UVA and UVB protection grade so it's very high in that and it also nourishes your face so I think this is a very good um, sunscreen for any type like any skin type and any type of person who is scared of getting breakouts or has very sensitive skin it's really good for that and also I didn't usually use like sunscreen on a daily basis I would say because I was scared of breaking out or it just felt too cakey on my skin or like underneath my makeup it would just become very chalky or something like that but this one doesn't do that and it just seems like a very fresh and it also has a very clean scent so it's very subtle and clean and um, applies on very evenly throughout the face so that's why I've been using this recently so I would totally recommend this it's made by dermatologists in Korea so they did a really good job in formulating this product so that it applies on smoothly and it gives nourishment to the face as well and to the skin as well as keeping your skin very moist and hydrated and protecting your skin from these ultraviolet rays so yeah I think this is a really good option for that and I've been using this one for about I think I would say two years now this is the box for it but it looks like this like this very clean it's a little dirty because I used it <laughs> so much this is like my third bottle I think but how it applies is kind of like yellowy white and then if I put it on it's kind of watery I would say maybe like a little watery and like not oily but a little more on the watery side okay so today was a lot of fact-filled knowledge for you guys on sunscreen and I hope this kind of helped you guys or made you understand that sunscreen is very important for you and maybe you will put on sunscreen starting today Yay! If this was helpful to you, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll try to make more like creative and informational content for you guys so it can really help you on a daily basis and kind of, I don't know, give yourself a little more skincare knowledge, I guess, in a way. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!